Hi everyone, it's Samantha back here saying a big hello. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is okay and life's treating you well as always. Um, so quickly jump straight into it today actually. To, I thought we'd have a look at these gorgeous um, sort of wreath garland type things. <laughs> I just um, have lots of lovely seed beads and these just popped into my head. Okay, so um, here they are with some um, faux pearl seed beads i think these are five o's these guys are little uh, rounds little agate rounds aren't they cute and 11 o seed beads basically i mean they you don't need very many materials to make these little beauties and you can either use them for earrings like so or you can make beautiful um, pendant with it actually I mean how, how lovely is that so I've replicated these little seed beads in the chain here which is just a simple um, wire wrap chain so what do you think of those beautiful aren't they okay so I thought we'd have a go at making these today so we're going to make the um, partner to this one which I'm using little tiny um, 11 -0 seed beads and these gorgeous sort of purplish um crystals which look amazing in the sunlight don't they okay so we're gonna we're gonna make the partner to this one today okay so i'll clear all these guys away and we'll go through a materials list you don't need an awful lot for this but what you will need is 18 gauge or that one millimeter copper wire and i use um, dead soft you can use any wire you like um, i just choose to use the bare copper you will also need 0.5 millimeter wire. Um, again, I'll put the equivalents about here on the film for you so you can see um, which gauges I'm using. You will need a pair of flush cutters, obvious reasons. <laughs> You're going to need two pairs of your favorite chain nose pliers. My favorite are these two guys here. You will need either a pair of round nose or as I use a pair of um, six step bell making pliers. Mine are two to nine millimeter increments in case you wanted to know. And just a ruler as always, just to measure out your lengths. This this guy um, that we make, it, it's, it's quite arbitrary with the lengths, but I'll, I'll give you the lengths anyway. You're going to need two ear wires and two um, large-ish jump rings. I make these myself. This one's made from 1.25, which is 16 gauge. And you need to, I mean, it's up to you. For my design, I like to see a larger jump ring, but you can make whatever you like. This is just a guide, guys. Okay, so you can make, um, you can make things, whatever, you, whatever size you like. That's those two. And then you're going to need some beads, okay? So I'm using little gold, well, this sort of coppery colour seed beads, 11 O's. And I think these guys are three millimetre um, little, little rondelles. Again, the world's your oyster. I would suggest, you know, sort of, well, you could do whatever you like, actually. And I think these would look quite, quite nice with larger beads. Four mil or even six mil if you're if you're like um, a really big, really big earring in the ear, which I do sometimes. Obviously, go for the larger beads. Okay, but the principle is the same, and we'll just go through how to make this gorgeous sparkly object here, beautiful for the summertime. Okay, so I'll see you in a few. Right, so we're back. We've got all our materials ready. So the first thing we need to do is to make the circular frame. Um, we use the frame in a straight piece and then we make we, we when the beads are on we then turn it into a circle okay so i suggest i don't know let's have a think hmm. i'm going to say 12 centimeters just to be on the safe side and it gives you a little bit of scope okay make it smaller or larger but i, I tend to use it a length about so long okay Right, so the first thing we need to do is to put a little uh, loop on the end of our wire, okay? So flush cut the end, 
make sure it's nice and neat and tidy. And then we come in with the second step on my plier, which is this guy here. So if you're using um, a round nose, obviously use your round nose. So we put a nice hoop on the end. And then I come in with my chain nose and just kink it backwards like so. There we go. So that's our that's our first end done. So like so. Right, so the next thing we need to do is to cut ourselves a length of 0.5 millimeter wire. So again, you don't need a huge amount. So I'm going to say about a foot, maybe 30, 30 centimeters, give or take. Again, so you've got plenty. And the first thing we need to do is to anchor the wire on to the frame wire here. So we're going to be making four wraps, okay? So place the wire atop with a little bit of a tail and then wrap it round, wrap it round and then back under. So we have four, four wraps there, okay? If you want to use your chain nose, you can come in and just give it a bit of a squeeze up and a tighten. Okay, and there we are. So that's our that's our wire on. And just tuck that guy out of the way for now, and push the wire down. Right. The next thing we do is we start adding our beads. Okay. So here we are with the beads. So I'll get the first little sparkly crystal and pop that on. If I can see the hole through this camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Difficult to see through the camera sometimes when you're working up close, so bear with me. Okay, so we have our little bead on next to the wraps. So what we're aiming to do now is to pop five seed beads on each wrapped part underneath the bead, okay? So we take five seed beads. I shall do this the best I can. There we go. I'll just pop a few on here. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's pop those out of the way for now. And bring these right down to the end of your wire. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to bend this wire around the bead. Okay, so keeping everything tight. This first one is actually the hardest one, guys. So if you can see, we're butting that bead up against the wrap and then we're, we're keeping these little seed beads, these 11 O's tight, okay? And pop the, this wire over the top of this one, like so. Underneath, over the top, underneath over the top and underneath again. So you have two, essentially two wraps. Then come in with your chain nose and just squeeze things along a little bit so everything's nice and tight and neat, like so. Okay, so we bring in our next bead. And again, I can't see through the camera, so bear with me, there we go. We put that one up against this wrap in between. Okay, so we need some more seed beads. I know that for this size it takes five seed beads, but again, this is just um, this is just an idea. You know, these are just ideas for you and inspiration for you, hopefully. Um, so you can oops, you can work out how many little beads um, you'll need. And I know that these are five for this particular size. Okay, so pop those beads right down to the very end again. Now you'll notice that the wire now comes from underneath. Okay, so you'll see 
let me just show you there's some lovely texture to this piece can you see how because we're wrapping from underneath all the time that these these little seed beads create like a wave effect i think that's really pretty okay so that's how they look so we're coming from underneath again keeping everything tight make sure that this bead is is tight up against the wraps wrap over the top like so and underneath to anchor and over the top and underneath again and then twice okay so that you've got two wraps essentially in between each unit use your chain nose you need to tighten things up and that's the second one on how gorgeous is that okay so i'll just do one more pop your little round bead on or your seed bead or whatever it is you're using come on i can't see what i'm doing there we go oh that one doesn't fit very well let's get another one gosh there we go okay so that's our third bead on. So I'll just get another couple of these little guys because I need five. There we go. Okay, so can you see now how it's coming out from underneath again? So again, we need to take our five little seed beads. So that's one, two, and three and four hopefully <laughs> and then five oh there we go okay so right down to the end of the wire like so and then again keeping this nice and tight wire wrap around like so so that your base what your base wire is underneath and your wrapping wire goes over the top once and then twice and then back under and then come in with your chain nose okay so that's the principle of the thing now i do i think it's one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so you need to put nine of these little bead wraps on so I'll come back in a few minutes time when I've completed the nine and then we'll go into how to finish this guy off. OK, so have fun doing that and I'll see you in a few minutes. OK, so we're back. How did you get on with that? So you should have something that looks um, similar to this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine round beads. OK, and nine wrapped sections underneath okay so instead of only the two wraps we need to replicate the other end where there's four okay so we need four wraps so that's one two three and four okay so this is what we have the next thing to do is to come in with your snippers your cutters and literally just to snip off the little end pieces so they're nice and neat come in with your chain nose pliers and just give that a little bit of a smush and a squish and tighten everything up pull everything down make sure everything's nice and neat and tidy okay so we have to now make another hoop on the other side so we literally just in the same direction okay bend this wire to about so and we need to make another loop so i just snip it off about there and come in with the second step of your pliers again and literally make another loop slightly too long so I'll just snip that off which is easy to do 
We happen to make something a little long on our loop, just snip the end bit off and come back in. So there we go. Okay. So just tidy things up, squeeze things together. Okay, so this is what we'll have. I'll move these pliers out of the way now. Okay, so this is what we have. It's at this point now where we need to bend these guys into, um, into shape. So what you need to do is because these loops need to be on the top, place your wire like so and just twist your beads around so that the golden parts, the seed beads are facing downwards. Okay, so you have this. OK, because we're going to be bending around. So you can do this around a mandrel, which um, is a good idea, or you can literally just use your fingers. So we're reducing the amount of um, equipment that we need. We just keep bending around. A mandrel, you know, does this, but sometimes, you, you know, you, you will um, sometimes if you don't leave enough space, you will um, chip your beads, okay? So be very careful. So I tend to just like to do it with my fingers, mainly because if you pop it around a mandrel, it can it can make you shatter your beads. Okay, so just that's just a heads up. Okay, so can you see how we're just using our pliers here to just move these little hoop sections? OK, so that's what we've got now. OK, so the next thing we need to do to finish this off is to come in with our lovely, our lovely jump ring. Open that up, pop it through and then with your other uh, plier, close that up like so. Nice and neatly. And then literally the last thing you have to do now is to pop your um, ear wire on. And that is that. So let me just get my, my ear wire. OK, just open your ear wire up. Pop it on and close it up. And there we have it. That's your beautiful, gorgeous sort of garland wreath earrings made aren't they beautiful so i hope you have a lot of fun making those let me know in the comments what beads you used and the colors etc i'd be really really happy to see what you make and i hope you have lots of fun okay so i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching guys